Good morning. Well, I'm Ken. And I'm Kristen. And we're here to talk to you about the 2017-2018 school year registration. We understand how you might feel about coming over to the high school. However, there are people here who are ready to help you in any way, and it's not as bad as you think. Now here's a word from our assistant principal, Mr. Forrester. Hello, soon-to-be Murphy High Bulldogs. My name is Jason Forrester, and I'm the assistant principal at Murphy High School. Today, in this video, some Murphy High School students and I are going to help you get started on your road to success at MHS. I hope you are as excited about being a student at Murphy High as the MHS family is to welcome you here. High school will be an exciting time for you because you will have the opportunity and responsibility of making choices that will impact your future. Part of being prepared for success involves you making the best course selections for you based on state requirements and your interests. High school courses are divided into two basic types, required courses and elective courses. Required courses are the ones every student must take to graduate, and elective courses provide students the opportunities to earn course credits in areas of interest, such as the arts, career and technical education, and other academic electives. Some required courses and some elective courses are offered as academic or honors level courses. Honors courses are more rigorous courses that require much more work outside of class and demand additional dedication, responsibility, and maturity from students. So let's get started thinking about the first choices you will make as you start high school. Eighth graders, we look forward to calling you ninth graders and seeing you at Murphy High School next fall. We hope that your time in high school will prepare you for a bright future. Go dogs! In order to graduate high school, you are required to have 28 credits. The course requirements for the state of North Carolina are as follows. Four units of English, four units of math, and three units of science. Also, you must have four units of history, one unit of freshman PE, two units of world language if you are planning on going to a four-year college, ten elective courses, twelve elective courses if you are not planning on taking a world language. Now let's take a look at the registration guide that was created for you. You must have four English credits to graduate. English 1, 2, 3, and 4. As freshmen, you are required to take an English 1 course. If you do well in English, and have a class average of 93 or greater, you can choose Honors English 1. If your English score is average, which is 77 to 92, or if you do not feel like it is one of your stronger subjects, you should take Academic English 1. If your average in English is consistently a 76 or below, please choose Reading and English 1. This will allow you to take English over the course of a year, with Reading being first semester and English 1 Part 2 being second semester one elective credit and one English credit. Now let's talk about your math requirements. You must have four math credits to graduate. You must take math one, two, and three and one upper level of math. Math that can be advanced functions, honors pre-calculus, AP calculus, or AP statistics. The upper level of math that you choose will be determined by whether or not you decide to go to a four-year college or a two-year college. If you are currently taking Math 1 in the 8th grade, you can take Math 2 or Honors Math 2. Your 8th grade math teachers should provide approval prior before registering for Math 2. If you are not currently taking Math 1, then please register for Math 1 or Honors Math 1. In order to take Honors Math 1, you need to consistently have a 93 or above in your current math class. If you are going to take Academic Math 1, your math average needs to be 85 to 92 consistently. If you struggle with math, you can take a math class that is year long. If your math grade is currently an 84 or lower, you should register for Foundations of Math. The Foundations of Math 1 will be taught first semester and will count as an elective credit. The Math 1 Part 2 course is a continuation of the Foundation course and is taught second semester. This course will count as a required math credit. Taking Math 1 over the course of the year will count as two credits, one elective and one math credit. Now let's talk about science requirements. In order to graduate, you must have three science credits. Earth and Environmental Science, Biology, and a Physical Science, which can be Physical Science, Chemistry, or Physics. As a freshman, you should register for Earth and Environmental, Honors, or Academic. If you do well in science and your science average is consistently a 93 or above, please choose Honors. If your science average is below a 93, do not take Honors. If you are planning a career in the medical field and want to take two sciences, 
you can register for both Earth and Environmental Science and Physical Science. Physical Science is not honors, however, it is a very good introductory to chemistry and physics, which are required for the medical field. If science is not your best subject, Physical Science would meet your Physical Science requirement. At some point in high school, usually juniors and seniors, you can take Chemistry or Physics to be eligible for the NC Scholar Program. Now let's take a look at history requirements. You must have four history credits to graduate. These include World History, Civics and Economics, American History 1 and 2, or Honors U.S. Studies, and AP U.S. History. As a freshman, you should register for World History. This can be taken as an academic course or honors. If your average in social studies is a 93 or higher, please select honors. If your average in social studies is a 92 or lower, please select academic for World History. You will get the opportunity during sophomore year to take American History 1 and 2. You can take these courses as academic or honors. You may choose to take Honors U.S. Studies first semester and AP U.S. History second semester, which is a continuation of Honors U.S. Studies and will be two credits in your junior or senior year in lieu of American History 1 and 2. Both of these courses count as history credits. You will have the option to pick which history courses you prefer. Keep in mind as you are completing your registration forms that we do not want to set you up for failure. So please, as you are looking at each of these academic course options, consider what honors and academic will mean for you before you select your courses. Every student must take freshman PE. You should plan to take ninth grade PE. You should plan to take ninth grade PE your freshman year, and you will need to select freshman PE for either boys or girls. Please do not sign up for advanced PE your freshman year. Freshmen, please only register for ninth grade PE. If you plan to go to a four-year college or university, you will need two world language courses. We currently offer Spanish as a face-to-face -face course. Those of you who are currently in Spanish 1, go ahead and select Spanish 2 because you do not want a whole year to go by without taking Spanish 2. If you do plan to take a world language your freshman year, you should sign up for part 1 and 2 so that you can take one each semester in the course of one school year. Now let's take a look at your elective courses. There are numerous elective courses that you can choose from. Students are required to have 10 elective courses, 12 if you are not planning to take a world language. There are various career, technical education, and subject elective courses available here at Murphy High School. You can make this choice based off of your interests. Career and technical education courses, also called CTE, assures that students are college and career ready. CTE helps students discover their skills and passions related to career development. In order to earn a CTE concentrator, students must take at least four credits in a career cluster and one course must be a completed course, which is a higher level course identified by an asterisk. Students may earn all four credits from the foundational course list or three from the foundational course list and one from the enhancement list in a career cluster. Students to complete the CTE concentration will be eligible to take the work keys assessment to earn certification in career readiness. Students that complete CTE concentration will also be eligible for the CTE Honor Society. Based on their overall average in the four courses they completed in a career cluster. As a freshman, you might be wondering what CTE courses are available to you and which ones ninth graders should consider. Agricultural education. If you are interested in agriculture, small engine welding, or horticulture, we like for freshmen to take the introductory course, which is agri-science applications. Freshmen also have the option of animal science one. Business education has several courses that freshmen can choose from. If a student takes Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, and Microsoft Excel and Access, and completes the courses and assessments successfully, he or she will become Microsoft certified. If you pass this certification exam, you will receive Microsoft Office certification and be exempt from the CTE assessment test. If you do not pass the certification test, then you will be required to take the CTE assessment test at the end of the semester. Personal Finance is a great course for freshmen to take, which will teach students about basic financial information necessary for insurance and banking. If you're interested in web page design, then multimedia and web page design would be a great course for you. Principles of Business introduces students related to business, finance, management, and marketing. 
All of these business courses can be taken as academic or as honors. Career management is also available to freshmen. This is a course that will introduce students to numerous careers. Students in this course will take career assessments to learn more about themselves, explore various careers, and learn about career opportunities. There are also courses available to freshmen in family and consumer science education. Freshmen can take Foods 1 and or Foods 2. Freshmen interested in nutrition or the culinary arts should sign up for Foods 1. Foods 1 and 2 lead to Pro Start 1, a course that offers training and certification to work in the food service industry. Parenting and Child Development introduces students to responsible nurturing and basic applications of child development theory with children from infancy to age six. Parenting and child development is also available in academic or honors. If you are interested in the health field, the health science education program is just for you. Freshmen can take the intro course, which is health team relations. Health team relations is available as an academic course. The health science education program will offer students the opportunity to be certified in CPR, certified nursing assistant certification, and pharmacy technician certification. Trade and industrial education houses our digital media courses, as well as intro to TNI, which is trade and industry. Students can take the intro to TNI. This course will introduce students to concepts needed for careers in trade and industry professions. The students who take Digital Media 1 get an introduction to graphics, animation, video, and web design. Digital Media 1 also introduces students to WDOG, The Paw, which is a school news station. Digital Media 1 is also available as academic or honors. Now let's take a look at some subject area electives. If you're interested in arts, whether it be band, music, or drawing, there are plenty of arts courses here at Murphy High School for you to choose from. For band, please make sure that you know whether you want to take marching band and or concert band. Students can get two credits during freshman year if they have both semesters selected. If you want to sign up for marching band, please make sure that you select band fall. F at the end of the course number indicates fall. If you want to sign up for concert band, please make sure that you select Band Spring. S at the end of the course number represents spring. The same goes for chorus. Chorus is offered in the fall and the spring. You can choose to take chorus either one semester or both semesters during your freshman year. If you opt to only take one semester of chorus, please be sure that you register for the correct one, either spring or fall. Freshmen also have the option of Art 1 or Graphic Design. A science elective available to freshmen is Physical Science. Physical Science is not an honors course, however it is, it is a good introductory course to prepare you for Chemistry or Physics. If you like Social Studies or the History program, you might be interested in taking Bible History. Once again, World Language. All freshmen need to remember that if you plan on going to a four-year college, then you will need to have two world language courses. You are allowed to take a world language course as a freshman. However, it is recommended that you take it after freshman year, unless you are currently taking a world language course. Again, Spanish 1 and 2 are offered as a face-to-face -face course. Effective with the 2015-2016 school year, the grading scale is on a 10-point scale which means 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to an 89 is a B, 70 to a 79 is a C, 60 to a 69 is a D. Any grade below 60 is an F. Now let's talk about your GPA, beginning with the class of 2019 and beyond. An academic course, which is non-honors, is worth four quality points. An honors course will be worth 4.5 quality points. An AP course will be worth 5 quality points. Now let's talk about athletic eligibility. In order to be eligible to play any sports at Murphy High School, you must be passing 3 out of your 4 classes in a semester. You must also be on track to graduate. Attendance will also affect your athletic eligibility. For attendance in high school, you cannot be absent for more than seven days within a semester in order to pass a class. You also have to be passing three out of your four courses in order to get your driving permit. 
If you are not, your permit or your license will be revoked. Here are things that you need to remember when you are registering for the 2017-2018 school year here at Murphy High School. Students, you must sign up for at least eight courses your freshman year. Depending on how many required classes you have already signed up for depends on how many elective classes you will get to pick this year. You must also sign up for two alternate classes. These are courses that will take the place of another course if that course is unavailable or, or is unable to work in your schedule. Please sign up for eight courses and two alternates on the freshman year registration guide form that your teacher gave you. This form must be signed by you and your parent or guardian and returned to your teacher. There will be a Murphy High School course registration guide available for students and parents to view course descriptions. The link to this guide is posted on the MHS webpage. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call MHS at 837-2426. Thank you and I hope you all have a great day.